and thank you for watching another episode of the Xbox Tester. My name is Maurice. Today we're getting a look at Koa and the Five Pirates of Mara running on Xbox Series S. And um, yeah, this game just came out this week. I was really looking forward to it. Let's get into it. First of all, let's see how much data this game is. And that's only 1.5 GB. The game's not on Game Pass, uh, at least not right now that I'm recording this. It's also not going to be a really expensive game. And um, yeah, it's fully optimized for the new gen consoles. Gen Scarlet, Xbox Gen 9, and yeah, let's just start it up. You guys, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot for me, you're really helping out the channel. You can also hit the bell icon. I upload almost on a daily basis. New games, old games, updates on games. Sometimes even a little bit of hardware here and there. So, Koa. I, I already heard about this game like a year ago or something. And uh, yeah, it's a pr pretty funny little game. Why doesn't it start? Go for it. Love the animation style. Go on, the five pirates of Mara. Pulsa Kualquir Boton. I probably butchered that completely. Please don't shoot me. <laughs> um, settings. I'm always good, especially with games like these. These are uh, aimed at a younger audience. So I'm going to show the languages that you can play it in. So you've got. French, German, um, I think this is Spanish. I have no idea, no idea, no idea, no idea. So yeah, a lot of, uh, lot of languages, Espanol. But I'm gonna play it in English, play Boom Island. And yeah, this is like a platform game. Really colorful. It runs amazingly, by the way. It's a little bit like uh, the Wind Waker of uh, of the Legend of Zelda. It feels a little bit like that, but it's it's more a a yeah a platformer, a collectathon. Look at this. I think these guys they also made the game Mill Mole or something like that. Also, a really funny game. Man, she's happy. We running around here. Here we go. And I think it looks gorgeous. It's, it's uh, definitely 60 FPS. And yeah, this is this is. At least 1080p. At least. Probably even more. Also feels a little bit like Super Lucky still. Don't know if you guys ever played that one. Uh, I don't think there are relax mode with more checkpoints for an easier. Yeah, that's perfect for if you're having younger kids. I do see some motion blur. I wish I could push that off. I don't like ocean blur. <clears throat> Ooh, let's jump. There are some little frame drops here and there, but then again, it's a small game. It's a it's a indie title made probably by a really small team. And for what it is, it's not bad at all. Hey. Oh no! Dum dum. I love the rumble functions, by the way, what they did. There were some little frame drops. Here we go. Uh, 
Ah. I knew it. There, sh there must have been a another jump area. Here's a checkpoint. Yay! I found a checkpoint. I am real good. Yeah, I found a checkpoint. I can't jump here. Oh. Oh, darn it. I need... I... <sighs> no? Hmm. I really like these kind of games. Oh, yes. I found another secret. Very funny character design. That's yeah, your typical Super Mario kind of game. Perfect for the younger gamers. Perfect. Yay! You can even do speed runs on this game. And it has a lot of levels. Swift Plateau. Now let's do another one. Two, three minutes, also perfect. Don't make these levels longer or anything. This is perfect. <laughs> I love how <laughs> how happy she runs around. Yay! I'm so happy, 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 running around, running around, happy, happy, happy. <laughs> now we got some uh, Sonic speed. This is funny. I'm the man. You know this game, why is this so much fun? Sometimes I just need a game like this. No shooting, no, no strange things going on. Just a simple, straight to the point platform game. Oh. You know what, shall we do one more level? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Now that we're here. Eh. Oh, silver! <laughs> Windmill Hill. Okay. Let's get some. Ooh, it does have some some frame rate to drops. Not gonna lie. Especially in the somewhat bigger levels like this. Maybe they should optimize it a little bit better. 
you know what? I'm I'm pretty early with this game, so there's also a big chance that this game will get like a um, day one patch or something like that. So. And you know what? I think 90% of kids that will play this game don't even care about this. You know, if uh, some of the best Nintendo games can get away with uh, less than 30 FPS, then this 60 FPS shouldn't be a big problem. I'm actually quite good at these games. Or at least I think I'm quite good at these games. I think that's more a thing. <laughs> Groovy. Oh, I need to pick something up and throw against it. I think that's... Can I pick up a goat? Oh, here they are. Oh, pancakes. Oh, pancakes. Here we go. I knew it was something like that. Whee! Oh no. <gasps> oh, that was almost. I was almost done for. No, 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 no. Ooh, do, go, 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 go. It's probably a secret around here somewhere, but yeah, I get it. But yeah, you guys, this is Koa running on xbox series s and yeah this is like one of those games if, if you have younger uh children at home i think this is a perfect game for those uh that demographic and um yeah thank you for watching hope you had fun hope to see you guys soon in another one <laughs> bye